so where we left off on this motors in but it's not running uh, some things that I want to change out I should have done it before I put in but I want to change out the fuel pressure rail to a normal one that will just bolt right into this one so that's gonna be a little difficult I've done it before just take out the 22 mil bolt I might actually cut down one of the wrenches this time just to be able to do it uh, starter alternator wiring uh, master cylinder Power steering reservoir is all to be changed out because I took it apart differently. Booster. Ready? Let's put that booster on there. Booster's on. Ah. Power steering pressure line down there. All these need to go back together. So, let's get this thing going. Uh, axles have to go back in. Struts have to go back in. All that fun stuff. I'd like to get this thing back together today and running today. So that way at least I have one car finished. And that means I only have to do this one. But this one's going to take a little bit more work to do. This one I have to take the transmission off of this one. No. Yes, take the transmission off this one and put it on a different motor because this motor is no good. Yes, that sounds about right. We also have to change out this fitting because apparently I don't have any and because of the coronavirus all the stores are closed around me and I can't order anything apparently so anyway we got lots of stuff to do um, let's get motoring on this and I'll be right back here to show you guys how to do it. what uh, how it's going headers not even bolted on so even that's got to be done so the blue bucket is the one for that motor but I should have thought this through because now I have to switch between the blue bucket and this bucket to put this thing back together try to keep everything in separate but now I've taken that motor and I put it into this one so I need all the bolts for the header to go into here and then I'll need most of those parts to go back into here so anyway we'll see how far this gets I'm gonna turn on some music and start working away at this and see how far I get I'm gonna change out the shifter as well because I have so many of the jaw shifters the Josh Archambault shifters with my name on it and everything I'm gonna start putting these in the car Probably going to put this Jeffy one up for sale, I think, we'll see, not 100% sure, but uh, yeah. So we're just going to keep starting, we're going to start pounding away on this and see how far I get. I would like it to be running tonight though, I really would. putting this thing back in and taking it out uh, transmission cooler ran into some problems there. had to go take parts off another car um, switched out the shifter bracket and the shifter cable because even though I did like my Jeffy's Fab Farm one I had a new one made and this one's got my name and my number in it so 
I kind of want to run this one. It's super nice. All the holes were already in it. Just match it up with the holes and pumped her down. Same as up here, all the holes were in it. It was actually set up to the point where I didn't even have to adjust any of the teeth, which was super nice, super snug fit. A uh, little bit different of a bracket than Jeffy's, but it works. Um, motor mounts are in, alternators in. I just have to get this broken plug out, put this plug in. I got the fuel pressure line changed out, so now that I can run the fuel filter with this, and we're going to be running a fuel filter with this car as well. Uh, what else do we do? F put gas in it, because apparently it's out of gas, because I remember that before it wouldn't start. Um, yeah, so pretty much, it took a little bit longer to get this thing all put back together. And my plan was to have the motor inside this one today, but I don't think it's going to happen because it's like 6 o'clock. I kind of friend came, came over and we had a conversation and then I kind of went in the house and ate half a bag of chips and took a nap tough life being on uh, Ontario lockdown but uh, anyway I'm about ready to see if this thing's gonna fire up uh, just so you guys know that's right I haven't even tried to start it touching the headers not even hot at all not hot at all so I'm really hoping this thing fires up uh, First revolution here. You ready to see if she fires up? Oh baby! Oh baby, she runs! First attempt! So we still have to do little things to this, uh, mostly like put the rest of the bolts back in the top of the struts and put the transmission cooler back into it, but this thing here now runs, hopefully it drives, but I don't see why it wouldn't. But that's quite a bit of work done for today, so thanks everybody for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Well, we got one more motor swap to do, but this one's not going to be as easy, I just can't pick up this motor and drop it in. We got to take this motor off this transmission and do a huge amount of swapping around of motors and transmissions to be able to get this thing in here. So make sure you guys come back tomorrow for some more Demolition Derby building, and have yourselves a great day. Take care.